Most people have back pain during their lifetime, and most of it is caused by repetitive motion. Simple things like bending over, sitting incorrectly, even driving. Mm -hmm. Our next guest is here with three tips everyone over the age of 16 needs to know to drive without back pain. Dr. Josh Zumstein wrote this book. It's called Secrets to Preventing Back and Neck Pain, 60 Ways to Protect Your Spine. Welcome back, Doctor. Thank you very much for having me. Thanks, Thanks for being you. here. Let's talk about why you wrote this book and, and really who it's for. It's for the average inactive person who not only wants to prevent back pain, but if they have it, this is good for them to learn how to alleviate it and eliminate the back pain as well. Mm -hmm. There are two important numbers that you say we should know, 80% and 85%, right? Yes, 80% is the percentage of the population that will experience back pain at some point in their life. And 85% is the percentage of those back problems that are primarily preventable because they're caused by repetitive misuse, as you mentioned. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about driving specifically. I mean, it's something that we don't always think about in terms of a repetitive motion that we do all the time that can truthfully injure our back because we're doing it incorrectly. What, what's one thing that people do wrong? They get in and out of their car the wrong way. So it's bad enough that you're forced to be in a seated position during your drive. So let's not make it worse by getting into and out of the car the wrong way. Mm -hmm. What's the wrong way to do that? Well, if I may, I'd like to show you. Absolutely, yeah. okay. it'd be great. Where's Most, your car? My oh, car's right. <laughs> so this, car? let's just okay. pretend this is the driver's seat, okay? Even though I'm going to be getting into it, uh, we'll be in Europe for this for this segment, okay? Right, okay. gotcha. <laughs> so most people, as you probably see, they, they become a contortionist getting into their car. They yeah. bend over, they make sure they don't hit their head on the roof and look like a pretzel and then they just they just plop down. Mm -hmm. So that's what we want to avoid. The proper thing to do is actually stand perpendicularly to the car with your butt facing the uh, entrance and you want to slowly back in, sit down and then swing your legs into the seated position. Hmm. Hmm. You know, I'm going to say, because getting in a car oftentimes, especially if you've got a purse or you've been shopping and you've got bags, you're leaning over to put it in, maybe mm -hmm. on the other seat or in yes. the back seat or doing all those types of things. I can imagine with kids, it's even worse because you're helping them get in. So really taking care of yourself, just simply getting in the car. It makes a big difference. Mm -hmm. And then you would just reverse that process to get out. Mm -hmm. What about the actual driving, the sitting there? Because some people spend an awful lot of time in the car. Right. Ideally, if you were in a position where you had to sit for extended amounts of time, say 40 to 50 minutes, I would suggest standing up and stretching and walking around. But obviously you can't do that if you're driving. So for the person that's driving for long periods of time, it's critical that they're sitting with proper posture. Mm -hmm. And a good thing to remember to know if you're in proper posture or not is the rule of 90. So you want to keep your knees or, or legs and your hips and your back all at 90 degrees. How do you okay. do that though? The pedal is like this. You, you got your foot extended, you can't have it at 90 degrees. Just make sure that your seat is in the position where it could be. Because okay. um, yeah, I completely understand that. If you're on a long drive and you can use cruise control, keep the legs at 90 degrees then, mm -hmm. okay? This isn't really for the stop and go driver because they're probably not gonna be driving for that long of a period of time. Mm -hmm. So these are more for the people that are driving across country, truck drivers that drive for a living, uh, taxi cab drivers have it a little, little more difficult time doing that, mm -hmm. and yeah. I understand. So our, our next tip is going to be more for the person that um, is, is doing the stop and go and may not be able to keep the proper postural position every time. Mm -hmm. I can notice because I have a bad back too. I, I notice oftentimes even if I'm going a short distance, my back I have to like twist and crack and oh, kind of move when crack. I'm driving. I know, I <laughs> just crack doing that. And literally, I'm, I'm one of the people who's very good at keeping my seat straight up, but oftentimes my lower back can still get uh, sore. So I know you've got some suggestions for a, a support. Yep, that is correct. Here is a lumbar support. Oh, I've never Those seen that fantastic, before. fantastic, by the way. This is the exact one that I use in my car. Mm -hmm. Okay, can I try it? Sure, try it out. Okay, We're, you would set it behind you, Normally you would you'd strap it and have straps in the back. Oh, strap it around the seat? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you would go over the seat like that. Okay. And then you could try it. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to bump you there. No, that's okay. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, and it's got that give and that's it. That's good support. So, right. so it's you're really driving and you've for your got... lower back. It is. What that does is it, in, in medical world, it induces extension into the low back. And that's what you want when you're sitting. And it makes it a lot harder for you to slouch when you have this behind you, too. What does something like that cost, do you think? And where can you find it? I have this exact one on my website, but you can find it on uh, numerous websites on the internet. And they should be under 30 to $40, probably cheaper than that. I actually don't remember. Now, do you thing. use this all the time or only long trips? All the time. It does not leave my car except for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Just for you to come in here. That's right. I like that. That's a great tip. And for, for most of us, should we have our seat back so that we're sitting up straight? Because you, know, you see a lot of people drive kind of yeah. like this. Yeah. Or, you know. They may look cool, but joke's on them because their backs won't be feeling too good in a couple of years. Mm -hmm. So you do. You want to have it straight up. 
and you want to have your, your butt all the way to the back of the seat because that's going to prevent slouching as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Okay. Well, we want to make sure everybody knows where they can get your book because you've got great tips, information for everyone, whether it's the 16-year-old driver up to the 90-year-old passenger. Anybody who has a little back pain can benefit from getting the book, Secrets to Preventing Back Pain and Neck Pain, 60 Ways to Protect Your Spine. You can get it at BackSafetyAndWellness.com. And as Josh mentioned, you can also get that back support for driving on his website, too. Thanks for being here, Doctor. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Appreciate nice it. Nice to see you again.